all right guys welcome back to the road to ssl in 3v3 today is episode number nine and for today we're going to be pedals you guys have been recommending this for quite a while but Cato, thank you so much for this recommendation you guys really like this one so it's time to make this photo let's jump right into it so of course we have to get a picture of rettles and i'm thinking this one looks pretty good i'm just gonna quickly cop this uh thumbnail real quick i'll drop that in there for now and now we need a picture of a flower that kind of m matches this uh this sort of uh perspective so as you naturally would do i've got flower with face searched in the google bar here and this is terrifying uh, this one could be good i mean does it really work let's let's see this could work i i kind of see the vision let me let me get uh just rettle's face here and see if i can make it work i mean sure <laughs> okay uh yeah i'm gonna do some magic with the racer and we'll come back in a second oh 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 no <laughs> i mean it actually worked out better than i thought it would but i guess we should uh let's Maybe make him give it, give it a little bit more, uh, more color. Uh, wait, that's kind of amazing, actually. <laughs> I don't know. I think I don't really have to do much more to this. It's kind of perfect. So if, let me know what you guys think of this one in the comments. All right, so there we have it. Now we have petals. So honestly, I really like this one. Um, I thought I would do something different for this episode where we actually compare the last episode's picture and this episode's picture. So we got the two of them side by side here, LeBron's, James, and petals. Let me know in the comments what you guys think is the better one, and we'll try to see if we can constantly elevate our game with the little the little photos we do at the beginning of these episodes. I really enjoy doing this. It's a lot of fun, and I hope you guys enjoy it as well. But in the last episode, we left off at 1439 in Grand Champion 1, so we're already in the fourth highest rank of 3v3, which is pretty incredible. Uh, we obviously haven't lost a game in the series yet, spoiler alert, if you haven't watched the rest of the episodes. If you haven't followed along with the other episodes, they're all in a playlist for you to watch. And if you aren't subscribed, make sure to do so. It helps me out a ton, and it's free to do. But now let's jump into the next games. We might find our first loss in this episode. We'll have to see. Well, let's get right into it and see how it goes. All right, we've got a full squad here, an actual team. This should be interesting for our first game. We've got Aveway and Thirsty Dursty. Also pretty high level players. They're both ranked higher than me here. So both solid GC1 players. I think we're going to run into a lot more teams now. I feel like you see a lot more teams queuing ranked at this rank. Um, should be a pretty fast shot there. Really good hit off the corner for my teammate, Thirsty Dursty. Setting me up pretty cleanly there. Unique kind of threw the ball away when he didn't need to. I think if he held onto the ball in the corner, it would have been a lot safer. There's really no need to flip the ball into mid unless you know your teammate's right there. And I don't think they communicated that one because he immediately flipped it out. I'm going to wait here since I am last man. A little dangerous. Oh my goodness, look at us go. I'm going wait for his flick. Right there and then go for the challenge he could have popped that up for me if i just went right away so i don't really want to take myself out of the game so freely i see tech going up and my teammate was kind of cutting me off but it's okay though i'm just gonna collect a few pads wait in midfield see what happens i might make a touch across and now i have a free touch tip it around the opponent now it might pop up in mid i'm just gonna try and prop posture there i'm just causing a threat by existing there i have six boosts they don't know that you gotta remember that whatever you have they don't really know you have that or not so you can use that to your advantage Especially if you're like posing a threat where they have to jump at a ball. Um, so in such, that situation, I just existed there, but I definitely know I'm not going to commit. And that's a that's a big thing you need to remember is that I'm not committing there, uh, even though I'm near the ball. And I know that people seem to want to go for a lot of things, but sometimes, like I said, the biggest thing that will make you rank up might just be a little bit more of a trigger. Uh, I don't know patience on the trigger. Basically, I always forget how to say that. But oh, close. Um, but just, you know, a little bit less trigger happy, you might find yourself ranking up just from, you know, finding the right opportunities. Uh, risk over reward. So far, Thirsty Dursty is looking pretty good. I'll pop this up the backboard. Both players went. I'll leave this for my, for my teammate as well. Good positioning. See how I left my left that for my teammate? And because I was like a little bit, uh, you know, uh, careful and patient, I noticed that my teammate had some space after that pop off the ball because we, we took out a bunch of players from the defense. And then I can actually be in midfield once my teammate gets a, a clear from the defense. And then there's no more players left, so I just score. Um, and because of that, uh, we are now 0-2-0 up. Pretty solid play for my teammates, though. They're playing really well. Teammate wants it. Actually, it's pretty good of him to wait there. He saw me trying to stay with it. I'll, see, I like I like this thirsty guy. He's pretty good. Good shot. Close. It still is technically text ball. Someone on the opponent's team. Kind of backwards, though. Ends up missing. Oh, so does that guy. So I'll pop this around the guy and then go for the shot. So right here, I could have went towards target, but this guy thinks that I'm going to go towards target right here. This uh, unique guy. So he's blocking all the angles towards goal, but I just pop it off the backboard instead. 
and then it just pops out free uh, in midfield. So it's pretty quick first game, honestly. I think my teammates actually played really, really solid. Um, made it really, really easy to rotate around, and we made some good touches as well. And as we move up these ranks in the top four ranks of Rocket League, you have to be really, really careful with your decision making. I think everyone's moving pretty fast nowadays uh, at this rank, especially even Champ uh, in the last episodes. Um, so you have to be really careful with your decision making and what you want to go for. Think a little bit harder about what you want to do, and you might find that it'll rank up a little more. I know it sounds really silly just to say, oh, think harder, but honestly, sometimes I find myself even even after 11,000 hours going on autopilot in ranked. Um, and that's, if you want to improve, that's where, those are those lapses of judgment that you need to improve on and just constantly throw in ideas of what you should be doing all the time, 24-7, fire on all cylinders, and you'll find yourself uh, ranking up. I'm, I'm almost 100% sure of it. All right, in contrast to the last game, we had a full team on the other team. This is now full solo queue. We got Justin. That is definitely not Justin. <laughs> we got a Justin wannabe in here. Good save. It's good of him to stay with that too. But yeah, look at this. Justin Justin in uh, Grand Champion 1, guys. Don't you know? There you go. Stay with this one. Um, you know, gotta, gotta show the world that you can't just take Justin's name. A uh, really good uh, first touch from me. He kind of let go of the ball pretty early, so I knew I could pop that off the, the curve of the goal. And uh, it was pretty free double once the was on the backboard defending. I can't believe this guy is pretending to be Justin. It's so weird. Maybe he's not pretending. Maybe this is his name. Maybe he's had it longer than Justin has. I'll stay with this if I can. Try to bait in the 50-50. Now my teammate has a free touch. Once again, I know my teammate has a better position. I'm just trying to play off that. Good try. I'm going to go back for boost here. There's not really any reason for me to linger with the low boost. It's better for me to go back for a better position. Wait for the chip. Oh, this could be good. Good block. Close. This guy has alpha boost. What the heck is going on, man? This game's wild. We got we got someone pretending to be Justin. Someone's got an alpha boost. Where'd this man get his alpha boost? All right, so good play from them. Um, bit of an awkward uh, backward touch. You know, Justin doesn't usually miss those balls. <laughs> good try on the pop. Just waiting in midfield. I am third right now. My teammate's rotating on mid now from uh, from the mid boost. I know that I can be pushing up for that now. And that ended up working out. I think we got a pinch there. <laughs> so we kind of yoinked my teammate's assist, but we'll take it. Good pinch. Interesting game. I, I don't. I didn't imagine someone uh, pretending to be Justin. Well, I am last, and I can't really go for this pass. Oh my gosh. Okay, I know that that's a little bit dangerous to go for, but he's not really getting full control, so I know I can probably make a pretty decent challenge. Good try on the shot. <laughs> Pop over my teammate. Close. A bit of an awkward touch. I thought the guy was going to be on defense there. Okay, I'm going to cut into third man now, or second man. Oh. Good shot. Oh, good finish. thought my teammate would be there, but I, I don't know where he went. I th so we got the mid boost. Oh, he jumped. Oh, that's, that's what happened. Let's see if we can get in the way of Justin. Good save. I'm calling him Justin, but it's not actually Justin. It's weird. All right, so let's see what my teammate does. No one's moving up, so I'm going to try and get in the way. Should be my teammate's ball here. Pop it across. Good. One of my teammates should clear this. Good pass. Good save, though. Let's see if Talk can get in the way. Nice play. Don't think he wants to go again, so it looks like they're going to miss. Get in the way of the two of them. They're just getting just these touches, so they're getting really close to getting scored on, which is a good sign for us because it means we have a lot of pressure. Pop of the backboard, not quite ready. Good save. Oh my. If I go for a double here, the way I'm touching it is trying to keep the, the ball to bounce to myself. Oh, that could have been in, actually. No one was there. Pretty dangerous for our team here. Good cut. Get the back corner now. One of my teammates is, is lagging, actually. Good snipe to the corner. I'm going to fake this so they back off. I think our last is lagging a little bit. It's a bit of a 2v3 right now. And there we go. Pretty solid. I think I think our third's kind of just hopping around. I'm not sure, actually. <laughs> I'm kind of confused. It looked like Toggy was the one jumping, but both of my teammates have super long names. Look at that. And here I am just being pedals. Okay, so this guy is, is out of the game. He's super laggy right now. Gotta be a little bit careful. Pretty close. 
Hoping that he stays with the ball. Good play by my teammate. Talgi's playing pretty solid. Okay, I'll stay with this. Hopefully my teammate doesn't bump me. It's pretty good. See if they can get it. He ended up missing, and there we go. So we went for the low touch because my, the opponent, I think it was Justin, uh, went for the challenge. Yeah, he did. So I went underneath him instead. Well, he went for the high touch. Then we just get a flip reset towards the net. Um, not too bad, though. Still very weird that someone is impersonating Justin. I, I find that really strange. I hope your YouTube vids get no views. <laughs> Yikes. And the guy's name was Yikes as well. Well, solid game. Honestly, I think we played pretty well. Um, considering my teammate was lagging. Uh, no problem. <laughs> you guys played well. Chat's delayed too. Yeah, I hate when the game lags like that. It's impossible to, to react. Um, and also the chat just takes forever to come through. Oh, it's one of the last games. See how it goes. Uh, I'm sorry to aches, but, you know, he's a little, he's a little salty, understandably. Um, but, you know, honestly, this rank, you need to be pretty consistent to win games. And, uh, I think we did a pretty good job of that. I feel like I'm not trying to do too many crazy things. Like, I, I am scoring a lot in these, uh, this episode specifically. Um, but it's more from just, like, good decision making rather than, like, good, like, big plays, like, mechanical plays. And I got a flip reset in the last, last game, but it's not like it... It's something that you don't see in, in Grand Champion. Um, people have definitely done it on me. Should be a shot towards target here. I think that Netflix might not make it. He ends up own goaling too. And Exo Daddy gets the goal. I don't know what happened there. He was kind of chasing it down. But I see right here in this situation, uh, when the ball rolls out like that and I'm pretty low boost, the only thing I can really do is boom it pretty hard. And that, that buys t time for my teammates, regardless if the ball goes in. So I really want to make sure I get that clear solid. I kind of flinch my in my chair whenever I go for those shots. Um, and try to get the perfect placement on the on the ball in the car. Right here, both my teammates are up the field, so I want to catch this softly and try to buy as much time as I can. So that's really solid that we get a 50-50 win. Pop over one again. Use the wall to our advantage. The little ramp there to pop the ball over one player. We didn't get the follow-up, but it's still a good idea. Same here. I'm going to use a speed flip to get back. Stay with the ball. Just doing all this, I'm ba basically just buying a bunch of time for my team to get back. Because that's twice in a row where I've been third man for a long time. I wasn't sure my teammate was going. I, did, I was being a little bit careful not to just jump up for that immediately. Sometimes you gotta be a little bit careful. This could be a good shot. What a shot. Yeah, I was gonna say that's a pretty good ch chance for him uh, off that, that that corner bounce. So, right here, what ends up happening is I don't even. Wait, what? <laughs> wait, what just happened? It just like ping pong between both players. Oh, good try on the shot, too. Wait for this touch. Better for me to just wait in this situation. This, I got lots of space on this side, so what I can do is let the ball bounce a couple times and then go for the shot uh, with a little more accuracy. If I just shoot that right away, there's so much time for the opponents to react. So I'd better, I'd rather use my space and allow the ball to get a little bit closer to the net before I take the shot. And then like, like I said, I kind of just flinch in my chair when I want to get that corner shot to really shoot it as hard as possible. And honestly, it wasn't the greatest shot. It could have been even better. Um, it would definitely need to be better for Super Sonic Legend. People would react to that. Um, so if you want to score at, at the highest level, you have to really, really get your shots perfectly placed. And the more you can do that, the better you'll be off. And the more often you'll score in those situations where you have a lot of space. This guy's going to probably go to as fast as he can to the ball. I see that. I'm going to go low. Good bump from the opponents. Good try from Exo Daddy as well. Um, since he was third man, it was a little spooky, but we got back in time. Wait for the pinch. Like, I know that there's either he touches the ball right away... Or he doesn't at all, and both those situations isn't a goal as long as I wait. Um, but if I do go, there's a chance that he does pinch it over me uh, if I go right away. So I'm trying to cover as many options as I can at once and just wait for the opportunity to strike. Good try. Good clear. This boost should spawn now. Good demo. Really good for that guy to try and turn right away. And a good shot too. Go for the top right if I can. There we go. Just take my time. I know the top right, like once I know in my head where the best shot is, I immediately just focus on hitting the ball from my free play, uh, you know, training and custom training and just getting used to, you know, shooting where I want to. That's the best spot to shoot it because both players on the left side uh, and it requires them a lot of, a uh, lot of boost just to get up to the ball. Good shot. Good save though. So even if it doesn't go in, like I said, I'm just aiming to get pressure, the best pressure possible. I'll let iDizzy clear this across. Hopefully my teammate gets ready for it. Oh, this could be good. I could have went for that. I just decided not to. I don't know why. Um, but it was a good idea to just wait in case you're not super confident on this one. Oh, my. Okay. Dwarf. Maybe. 
but you're just gonna pop it off the backboard there's not many angles i can go for there because uh the ball's like not crossing the net so i'd have to get a negative angle which is really really difficult unless you get a perfect scoop so there i just go for the backboard touch and he's forfeiting for some reason you know what Let's Is he going to do it? Who is it? Which one of you? I dare you. I absolutely dare you. Oh, good touch from Idizzy there. Oh, and it ran out. Oh, maybe we should... Wait, they're going to do it? What if we all did it at the same time? We didn't even know. Oh, no one's going to do it again. You know what? Let's throw it out again at the last like 10 seconds. So you see, I'm just waiting for him to clear the ball to me. You have to make you're making the opponents have to do something. Same here. Let's get the forfeit out there. Then we're gonna do it. Oh, two to three. Oh, I thought they were gonna do it. Oh man, someone really wanted to do the forfeit. I don't know who it was. Maybe this was it this. <gasps> I thought they left. Okay, never mind. Oh man. I really wanted to see what would happen. That would be the funniest way to lose the first game of the series. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Definitely an interesting one. You know, having Justin an impersonator, um, definitely, definitely didn't expect that. Oh, he knows! He knows it's me! No! How did you know? Oh, we division up though, we're at division three. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode, like I said. Until next time, have a great day, I will catch you guys in the next one.